potential problems you may encounter. The home's water supply line connects to the refrigerator's main water inlet valve, which requires water pressure between 20 and 120 pounds per square inch to operate properly. When you press the water dispensing lever or button, a switch or switches allow voltage to travel to the dispenser solenoid and the water filter solenoid, if applicable to the model. The filter solenoid may be on the main inlet valve or on a secondary valve. The solenoids open the valve system, allowing water to flow through the filter, if applicable, into the water tank and through tubing to the dispenser spout. Common problems that can occur with the water dispenser include the water dispensing too slowly, the water not shutting off properly, or the water not dispensing at all. If the water dispenses too slowly or won't shut off properly, the cause could be insufficient water pressure, a restricted filter, or a defective water inlet valve. If the water doesn't dispense at all, the cause could be a defective inlet valve or water dispenser switch. You can test both the valve and switch to determine if the components are functioning properly. The ice produced by the ice maker collects in the ice dispensing bucket. When you select cubed ice and press the dispenser lever or button, a switch or switches are actuated, allowing voltage to travel to a motor that drives the ice auger and to a solenoid which actuates a rod that opens a door at the front of the dispensing bucket. As the auger rotates, it pushes the ice out of the dispensing bucket and down the chute at the front of the dispenser. When you select crushed ice, the door at the front of the dispensing bucket remains closed. This diverts the ice cubes through a crushing blade system before the ice is dispensed down the chute. On some models, the auger will rotate in the opposite direction to push the ice cubes through a crushing blade system. If the ice is not being dispensed properly, you should inspect the dispenser lever or button and chute door to determine if any parts have failed. You can also inspect the dispensing bucket and auger assembly for worn or damaged drive components. If the components appear undamaged, hold the door switch while pressing the dispenser lever or button and observe whether or not the auger motor coupler is rotating. If the coupler is not rotating, you should test both the auger switch and the door switch for continuity to determine if there is a continuous electrical path present in the parts. If the components are functioning properly, the auger motor itself may have failed and will need to be replaced. Repair Clinic has a solution for many of the problems you may be experiencing with the water and ice dispenser. Enter your refrigerator's full model number in our website search engine for a complete list of compatible parts. Our site also has an extensive selection of instructional videos to assist you, covering topics like part testing, disassembly, and part replacement. At Repair Clinic,